Hello everyone, welcome to the review of the Thetford Titan RV sewer hose. This unit allows you to drain your black water and gray water tanks at a dump station. When fully extended, the unit is going to measure 15 feet in length. When fully collapsed, the unit is going to measure 96 inches in length for storage. This unit is a 15 foot long hose with three accessories, including a revolving 5-in-1 sewer adapter. You can tell I have one sewer hose out here along with this one. It is the Valterra Silverback 5 foot sewer hose extension, which is basically going to give you a really nice amount of really nice amount of length when you want to add another sewer hose onto the unit. Let's now talk about the fittings themselves. Here you have the revolving 5 in 1 sewer adapter. This unit is designed as you're emptying out your black and gray water tanks. In several states, you re you're required by law to have a airtight seal in the ground when you're emptying out your black and gray water tanks. This unit is designed as the gray water and black water passes through this. This is allowed, this is designed to change color when you're emptying out your black and gray water tanks. So if you look here, the revolving 5-in-1 sewer adapter has an adapter which is going to allow you to fit a 3-inch, 3.5-inch slip, 3-inch, 3.5-inch, 4-inch threaded fittings. This unit is designed to rotate, which allows the handler or owner of the RV sewer hose to rotate it in a position where they want it to go, which is also pretty nice. So really nice design, really nice um, feature. Now, the one thing that you're really gonna like about this hose is the 90 degree elbow. The 90 degree elbow is designed to reduce the stress that is placed on the RV sewer hose when handling the RV sewer hose at the dump station. For example, the unit will fit onto the dump station like this. So if you wanna put the unit onto the dump station, basically the unit will fit onto it like that. So basically, what it will look like standing up is it will look like just an RV sewer hose hooked up to the dump station with it being stood up into the position that you want it to be in. Most of the time, when you think about it, you're going to have a length of up to 20 feet if this hose was added on. But this hose we're not talking about, but this hose right here is the one that we're talking about. But the extension hose, we're going to use that to demonstrate the Thefford Titans fitting the Thefford Titans um, bayonet fitting here, okay? So, this unit is designed to come off as well, so if you want to take it off, basically, you have to turn it to the left to take it off. So basically, what happens here is this unit is designed to fit into the dump station, and you're required to use this by law. We will now take a look at the other accessories that come with, the ki come with this kit. You're also going to have a revolve. You're also going to have two drip caps. The drip caps are designed to fit on both ends of the RV sewer hose to block out any waste from leaving the sewer hose, which is basically sewage and dishwater. Now, sewage water is basically so nasty you don't want to handle an RV sewer hose with your bare hands. You're required to wear gloves at all times when you have a sewer hose like this that is being emptied at the dump station, all right? This unit is designed as the contoured edge here. You can tell it has the contoured design. You can tell it has a couple of sizes here. You can tell that it will go up from three to three and a half inches on the outside perimeter of the unit. The catch basin itself is about one inch deep. You can tell it is kind of like the other drip caps, but they're basically on the Valterra Viper and the Valterra Silverback. This example here demonstrates the flow. This example here demonstrates the um, example of the Valterra Silverback. This unit right here, you can tell, has the contoured edge on the unit, all right, which is also very neat, okay? Now, if you look here, the contoured edge has the contour as the contour design. You can tell that the wastewater will go down into the catch basin, and then the wastewater will actually fall out into the dump station when you're ready to connect to the RV sewer hose valve outlet. 
Now that we're done talking about the drip caps themselves, we'll now review over the hose itself. The hose itself is made of a 20, uh, made of a 4.5 millimeter thick rubber. Now this rubber is basically called TPE, okay? TPE. Now what is TPE? Now TPE is a thermoplastic elastomer construction which allows the sewer hose to be used in, our, in all RV sewer hoses. Now, for example, here we have the Valterra Silverback 5-foot sewer hose extension. But now, if you think about this, um, this has a really thinner, this is actually a thinner build. Now, if you look here, the Valterra Viper has a 24 mil polypropylene construction. But now that's what you're going to see with the Valterra Silverback. But the main one that we're focusing on tonight is the Valterra, is the Thefford Titan sewer hose. Now, the Thefford Titan sewer hose gets the name from its long body. Okay, now if you look here, the hose is already extended halfway because the unit right here, this unit right here does not collapse well and it doesn't stay retracted well. You know why? This hose is robust. Okay, this hose right here is robust which means that it will not crush, it will not stay, ret stay retracted. It will, it will pop back into its shape um, in a couple of places here, okay? Now, if you look here, you're gonna see that this unit allows you to crush it and step on it, okay? If you look here, this, uh, this unit will allow you to crush on it, step over it, drive, step over it, step on it, drive over it, compact it with a garbage truck, whatever you can do with it well this unit is designed to be real durable okay this unit right here is designed to be real durable again this unit is going to have two bayonet two fit two fittings your lug fitting and your bayonet fitting now the lug fitting here um if you guys can tell here now this hose here if you look here you're going to have a tpe material that goes all the way from the inside to the outside of the hose now, if you look here, the black stuff that you see on the outside of the hose itself is the TPE material, okay? You can tell I do have the hose in the camera some so that you guys can see it, but there's the TPE construction and the material. So if you want to have your hose fully extended out, you can, but here's this. The TPE construction allows the hose to not be punctured or damaged or torn or ripped. Most of the time when you think about RV sewer hoses, there are some RV sewer hoses out there that can resist being punctured, torn, and ripped, which are basically, um, that can be punctured and torn and ripped. Now, basically, those are going to include the Valterra Quick Drain, the Camco Standard RV Sewer Hose, and the Easy Coupler sewer hose from Valterra. Also, the Rhino Flex does that too, okay? Now, if you look here, you're gonna have a sewer hose that is going to allow you to not puncture it, okay? Now, this unit right here is a 4.6 millimeter thick rubber or a, a 4.5 millimeter, millimeter thick TPE that is going to resist it being binded binding or being bent or kinked in one direction okay this unit is going to allow you to expand and retract this unit is going to allow you to expand and retract which is also a really nice thing that is going to be involved with many rv sewer hoses out there which is basically going to be with the valterra silverback uh, you're going to have the 24 mil polypropylene construction and that's what you're going to get for all rv sewer hoses that are out there now if you look here, we'll now take a look at the fittings itself and the helix design of the hose. This unit is designed as the wastewater passes through. You're going to have a contour design. The lug fitting here, you're going to see it has the four pins, which allows the unit to go into the dump station adapter. This part right here, you consider as the business end, this part you would consider right here as the business end of the RV. This unit right here is designed 
as the wastewater flows through, it will go in to this end, go all the way around. You could tell that this unit right here is puncture resistant and being contoured, okay? Now, if you look at it right here, you're gonna see the same stuff at the back of the unit that you're gonna already see at the front of the unit as well. This whole unit is made of TPE. This whole that gum unit is made of TPE, all right? So, this unit right here, you can tell it has the four ears. It has the four ear design, which allows the unit to fit on real sturdy and tightly enough. So to take it off, you can, just like that. So there's the four pin design on the lug fitting that allows the unit to fit into the dump station. So there you go. The unit can also hold its shape but now in some places it can, some places it can't, all right? So ladies and gentlemen, you can see right here, this hose is very robust, okay? It's not gonna allow you to hold its shape even though the hose has been crushed or stepped on or driven over. Okay, so now let's take a look at the other end of the bayonet, other end of the hose, which is basically going to be considered as the mouth end of the hose. The mouth in the mouth into the hose, which is right here, which is basically the mouth of the sewer hose, you're gonna see this right here is your bayonet fitting. Now the bayonet fitting is designed to fit on the other end of the unit, which is basically gonna fit to the waste valve output to the RV. This unit is designed to accept other accessories, such as an extension hose. For example, we have the Valterra Silverback. So with the Valterra Silverback, you can tell that these units will connect together just like this. You can tell right there, that is how both of the units will connect if you want to have more footage, more feet to an RV sewer hose. So if you want to take it off, if you want to take it off, but now before I take the unit off, look at how well the, look at how well these hooks attach to the unit here. See this right here? Look at how well the unit attach, look, look at how well the hooks attach to the unit. See right here, you're gonna have a sturdy connection that is going to allow the unit to not be pulled on or dragged or stepped on. Now, if you look here, you're gonna have the same thing that you're gonna have on the Thetford, the, 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 the Rhino Extreme. But here's this, if you look right here on the sewer hose itself, you're gonna see that this unit right here does not have the childproof locks. The childproof locks are to protect the hose from being pulled or jerked off of the unit by a child. If your child wants to play with an RV sewer hose, smack his or her hand to tell him no. Sewer hoses like these are really nasty for children to play with. So if you wanna take your unit off, basically the unit will come off like this the unit will come off like this. If you turn it in this direction, boom, there you go. There you go. That's how your unit is gonna work for the bayonet fitting there. So this right here, uh, this hose, we're gonna throw it out because we're not throwing it out, but we're just gonna put it aside because um, this unit right here was just basically going to be an example of, um, of an extremity that I wanted to give you guys here. Okay. We will now talk about the bayonet fitting and the helix design. Now, if you guys look here, you're going to see that the bayonet fitting on the outside here, okay, if you look at the bayonet fitting real closely, this fitting right here, you can tell that it does have the four sturdy hooks. You can tell this fitting right here is also called an ergonomic extend grip bayonet fitting. Now, for those of you guys that have asked me this before, Will, why is this fitting extended? Now, if you look right here, this fitting is designed to be fully extended, okay? That is because of the way that they made this RV sewer hose. You can have much more of a surface grip for the palm of your hand. Watch this. See there? 
Now I can grip the unit with the palm of my hand instead of the hose itself. For example, when I want to add another sewer hose to the RV dump station or sewer hose setup, watch this. I'm, I'm going to put the Valterra Silverback in queue again. All right. This is basically the queue of the Valterra Silverback. So if you want to hook it up to the unit, basically the ergonomic extend grip fitting will allow you to do that. All right. The ergonomic extend grip bayonet fitting will allow you, will allow you to do that. So if you want to unhook the unit as well, the ergonomic extend grip fitting will allow you to do that as well. So there you go. So that is going to be how to use, that is also how you use the ergonomic extender bayonet fitting on the hose itself. But this one tomorrow right here, tomorrow we're going to review over the extension hose from Silverback. Okay. And then we're going to go up the, then we're going to go up the line into the footage of the hose. And we're also going to talk about the 10 foot option from Silverback as well. Okay. I'm also going to have this hose out here to show you what it looks like extended to look like when it the, when the unit is fully extended out on the dump station all right so now we're now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the helix design of the hose so the helix design of the hose when i bring it when i pull bring it back in and pull it out this unit right here has a really nice helix design now if you look inside the hose you can tell there's the inner wire core there's the inner coil which is basically going to provide you with a smooth bore on the inside of the hose now if you look here there's the extend grip bayonet fitting at the camera but now if you look here this unit is designed with an internal seal to help prevent leaks from occurring. So if you look at the other end of the unit here, the other end, which is basically going to be the other end of the unit, you're going to have your bayonet fitting here. No, not the bayonet fitting. You're going to have your lug fitting here. If you guys can tell here, you can see the helix design as well through this fitting, can't you? So that's what you're going to see along with this fitting right here. That's what you're going to see along with this fitting right here. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what the hose will look like when both of the fittings are connected. We're going to demonstrate that with the Valterra Silverback and the Thefford Titan. I will now demonstrate how that works. Ergonomic extend grip. Check. Now that you have your fittings both ready, I'm going to bring them both close to the camera, show you how they fit together. So if you want to fit them together like this, they'll fit together like that. So you see how they fit together? You see how they fit right there? They'll fit together just perfectly like that. You're going to see that the hooks are going to provide you a sturdy tight grip on the RV sewer hose. If you want to take the unit off, turn it to the left, and there your unit is off. Demonstration again, without the talking. So now everyone, I hope this every I hope this video helps you guys understand what this hose looks like when it's in use. That is going to do it for today's look at the Thefford Titan RV sewer hose. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.